In this video, I'll be booting the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display for the first time. Alright guys, so in the last video I unboxed this, check it out on the channel, youtube.com forward slash iTechEverything if you missed it. And in this video, it's the first boot of the MacBook Pro. So I just press the power button and we'll go ahead and see what happens. Use English as the main language. I'm in Australia. And I'll have the Australian keyboard. So anyway guys, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up and I'll see you when I'm finished. So I just finished setting it up and as you can see, it says thank you. Your Mac is set up and ready to use. Start using your Mac. And here we are into Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion. Now, the screen does look very nice, I must say. This is of course the new Retina display. Looks very crisp indeed. Now Apple have changed the scrolling back in line 10.7 and every time I get a new Mac this is what I have to do now. System preferences, trackpad, scroll and zoom, scroll direction natural, uncheck that right there and then your scrolling will go back to normal. Map Safari. And I must say, seriously, this screen does look very, very nice. There's the iPad Mini, which Apple announced at the same event in which they announced this. Stay tuned to iTech Everything, as I will get the iPad Mini and the new iPad 4 in full review. So that's going to do it for the first boot of the 13.3 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. This retails for $18.99 here in Australia. It's very expensive, especially considering it actually does not have a discrete GPU. So it will be very interesting to see how this thing performs with just the Intel uh, HD Graphics 4000. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Stay tuned to the channel for plenty more MacBook Pro coverage and iPad coverage. Go and give this video a thumbs up, as I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. Click subscribe right above this video. And follow me on Twitter over at twitter.com forward slash I take everything. See you guys in the next video which will be a Geekbench test of this laptop.